up friends it's nicole from flower hill farm and many of you guys know i purchased a nursery in my hometown of boomville new york about four months ago and we've been renovating it ever since we have been open as you can see i have some beautiful um plants here and i want to show you guys a couple of new things that i brought in i've been showing them on my facebook and my instagram page but if you're not there i wanted to show you i have some beautiful cyclamens and some frosty ferns and they've been selling like hotcakes i've had to replenish them um, a couple of times let me show you these are the cyclamen plants and they smell so delicious. Now, some of them honestly smell like Lily of the Valley. They're kind of all a little bit different in their deliciousness. Uh, the white one is not so strongly scented, but then you have this pink one, and this is super strongly scented. And I love the beautiful uh, variegation of the leaves. It's gorgeous, and these have been super popular. In fact, I had one white one with pink speckles on top. Um, those were super popular. I did, this one needs a drink. It's starting to get a little... It's starting to look a little sad. Anyway, these have been super popular and these were supplied by, they're called River Road Greenhouse. And then they also supplied me with these ferns over here. Check these ferns out. Now these are called frosty ferns, but they're actually a member of the Moss family and they have been the number one seller here. It's amazing. And that's not like a, a fake white, that's actually, the plant, that is how it grows. It's a frosty fern. And my friend Gina, who used to do displays and stuff at floral shops said, these sold just as well as the poinsettias in the holiday time. So frosty ferns, they are gorgeous. And I'm selling these ones for just $5. Same thing with the cyclamens, those are also $5. So people are coming and getting them for gifts. They're bringing them to their office for work things like that. What this video is about though, is the renovation costs so far here at the nursery. A lot of you guys have been curious as to how much this is gonna be costing me. And I don't mind sharing those details. So I have created a list and I know I'm gonna be forgetting things. I have a created a list of things that we have done here so far and how much those things have cost. I know I'm gonna forget a few things. I, I just know that there are some things that I'm gonna be forgetting, Thing, little things here and there like cleaning supplies and stuff like that. What this list does not include the mortgage, the amount that I pay on a monthly basis. It does not include things like electric or the water bill. It does not include things like the closing costs that I had to come up with way back in July. And those were, if you'll recall, about $8,000. So it, I'm not including though, and I'm not including, what else am I not including? Uh, propane, I had to fill the uh, propane. This does not include any of the plant supplies or growing materials that I'm purchasing. And this does not include the maintenance, things like what I pay to have the lawn mowed, what I paid to have the, oh yeah, I do forget something. Oh, I better add it. It does not include things like that, but I'll tell you exactly what it does include. And that's list, this list right here. And then I'll tell you, about what is yet to come on my list at the end of this video. Okay, so renovation costs so far in the four months that we've had this building, we have made uh, many trips to the, the store basically for supplies. And that started with an $1,100 trip. And that was to get things like the green zip board and some lumber. We did some two by fours, some one by sixes, et cetera, et cetera. So that first trip was $1,100. And then the second trip, we needed more of the same. The second trip was $1,500. And that was when we were just starting to do the front of number one. That's the first thing we tackled. We started to demolish the front of the first greenhouse. There are four of them here and they all needed to be upgraded. So we just went right, tackled number one, tore all the front off and replaced that. And we did that in the first week that we owned this place. My cousin Michael is a contractor and he dedicated his time that week to make that happen. And the third and final trip so far to Lowe's, that's where we got this stuff, is I spent $800 on new doors and $300 on new soffit. So that was for the front here that has yet to be installed. It's sitting in greenhouse number one in a box. So I have those supplies. We did install one of the doors in greenhouse number three in the front. It's that full glass, it's beautiful. I'm excited. The other door is for greenhouse number one. I want them to be matching, but we decided to hold off on that because it's just an inch too tall. So we have to figure out how to make that door fit in that space. Okay. So next up, I have the siding. I spent about $2,000 on siding so far. We only have enough siding to do the front of number one is done. 
I have enough to do the front of number three and I have enough to do the side of the retail shop. I will be buying more siding in the spring when it comes to replacing the rest of the retail shop's siding. I spent $1,200 on windows. Now that included window new windows for the front of the first three greenhouses. I don't think I'm gonna be using the ones for number two because we're gonna be rebuilding that entire space and I'm not sure what we're gonna do there. But I'm gonna save those two windows anyway just in case there's an accident and I have a damaged window. So I have two extra windows and windows guys are super expensive, really expensive. I couldn't believe how expensive they were. If you guys remember earlier in November, we had all of the polys replaced on all four of the greenhouses and I had that professionally done. So between the poly and the installation, that total cost was $3,655. And to me, that was worth every penny. Having those polys replaced and done professionally and done right and done fast, that is what is going to allow me to open up in the springtime because those polys were all torn up so badly that they were not able to hold any air. I was not going to be able to retain any heat in the greenhouses. I would have burned through propane so fast I wouldn't even have been able to keep up with filling it, I'm sure. So those are the total costs for the new poly and the installation of the new poly. We have about $1,000 in tool expenses. Brad bought a bandsaw and then we had to buy a whole bunch of tools to have here just so that we could do repairs without having to move tools back and forth from our house. So things like screwdrivers and hammers and shovels and things like that that we needed to have here. Uh, we needed to put in new smoke alarms. That was a $75 cost. We have a contractor fee fees. My cousin, Michael, is doing a lot of the work and he's doing a lot of the work for a lot less than what he would normally charge a customer. So far, the total contractor fees are about $3,000 in fees. I had that stone delivered. Now that's the new floor for greenhouse number one. It's 20 tons of crushed stone and to have that delivered, it costs $466. You guys remember all of the tables and a lot of the wood here, including this table right here under this beautiful tablecloth. All of the wood surfaces here, my mom wanted to stain or paint. So the paint, paint and stain so far totals about $700, but the free labor is priceless. My mom and my aunt and a lot of my family members have been offering their services to paint and stain, and that's been amazing. You cannot put a price on family and friends helping out. You truly can't. I had to buy insulation for the front of the greenhouses to put on the other side of the new plywood and that insula insulation costs $242. I had to buy dryer vents because the poly needed to be vented with a fan so that it filled up with air. And a lot of that dryer vent was cracked and broken. So we needed to replace all of those. That was a $60 cost. And then I had dump fees because we had to bring a lot of garbage to the dump and that was about $200 in dump fees. And then things like the inside here, these curtains that I bought, I had about $200 in curtains that I purchased just to cover up the walls. And these curtains are gonna be repurposed in the back after the interior here is totally different. So it's totally not a waste. They're gonna be used. I don't know if you guys, in the way back there's a barn and right now there's a blue tarp hanging, blocking off the view inside the barn that's where these black curtains are going to go. So it's not a blue tarp. It's going to be a nice aesthetically pleasing black curtain that's kind of hiding the view of my workspace. Because my workspace, I'm trying to have all of the workspaces kind of hidden. So I'd like everything to be in the barn. That way, the where people are shopping is not um, dirty and full of um, working conditions. I want it to be kind of hidden inside the barn. So we'll see. We'll see if I get to do that. We needed to put up beams in greenhouse number one after we removed all of that old piping. The total lumber costs here, I got a good deal, $400 on all of those beams and all of the lumber that's inside number one. Uh, I did pay for meals for um, all of the people who would come when it was like free labor and when it was the contractors were here. I spent about $500 supplying meals for the crew. And then the final thing that I have on my list, I know I'm forgetting something, but the final thing that I have on my list here is the new roofing that we um, put on the end of greenhouse number one so that the snow slides off because the snow was building up there and it was rotting the side of the retail space. Now I wanted it to have fresh new tin roofing, metal steel roofing, whatever it's called, fresh new metal roofing. And now the snow is sliding off of it quite nicely. And that was a total of $300. So that is what I have written down so far. So this totals about $18,000 in renovation costs so far. Again, remember, this does not include my mortgage. 
It does not include any growing supplies or plant supplies. It does not include those closing costs. And it does not include any maintenance, electric, or water bills. Those are just, um, I guess, the, I, won't, I wouldn't consider those renovation costs. Those are just daily costs of having a business open. What is still to come, though, I still have a lot more siding to buy. So I expect to have a couple more thousand dollars in siding and also probably a couple more thousand dollars in the exterior zip board to replace some other boards. The back of the retail shops really kind of... Um, falling apart as well. So some of that needs to be replaced. So I imagine I'll have several thousand dollars more in siding and plywood, basically plywood, zip board, all that stuff. We're also replacing greenhouse number two in its entirety. That is going to be a huge cost. Probably the biggest cost of 2023 is going to be replacing greenhouse number two. And then I have to do before we open in spring, before I start planting, I need to replace the drip irrigation. That's also, I think I had, um, uh, I had an estimate, I think, of $2,400 for new drip irrigation. And then we have this, this space that I'm sitting in. This is the retail shop right now. So I want it to be redone. We're redoing it. We're doing new walls, new flooring, except stuff like that. A new space where the cash register is going to be, a new cash register, stuff like that. This space needs to be redone. I have zero ideas about how much that's going to cost because we are repurposing some of the barn wood in the back. So I'm excited about using that. So that'll bring the costs lower. I also am having new electric done inside the entire space. So some of the electric is knob and tube lighting, which is decades, 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 decades old. Like some of the lighting's 1960s. So that needs to be ripped out and replaced just for safety. My dad says it's not horrible, but it's it could stand to be redone and my dad's an electrician so he's going to take care of that for me i'm obviously going to pay him but i don't think he's going to charge me the regular contractor rate if he does he does i'm more than happy to pay the best electrician in town the rate he deserves so my dad and my brother are electricians they're going to help me out on that that's going to be amazing that's going to be happening i believe in january we're going to start that project and then i have some serious roof repairs on the barn that need to be done requirements of the insurance company. So the, the house that I own that came with the property, that has to have the roof painted. And then the barn roof needs some structural um, fixing, needs some structural fixing. So that's about it. I have uh, so far about $18,000 in renovations. And honestly, where did all this money come from? Well, I have a lot of um, credit card debt right now, but also I have other sources of revenue and I had been saving a little bit. My YouTube channel is monetized. So basically every penny that I've made on YouTube has gone into this building. I'm not kidding. Every penny that I've made anywhere else is going into this project. Um, that includes all of my calendar sales. So thank you to everyone who bought a calendar from me. That helped me out a lot. I was able to use all of that money, every penny that I sold. Oh my gosh. Every penny that I made from selling my calendars, which I actually put some pictures of myself on it this year because people were yelling at me. This is my favorite picture, guys, and it's never seen, never been seen before. These are my favorite Snapdragons. Anyway, anyway, every penny that I made selling these calendars, and they're almost sold out, guys. Thank you so much. I think I have like 12 left. So those, all the money that I've made selling my merch, all of that stuff goes towards this. And you guys generously sent me some donations via Venmo. And that was more than a thousand dollars that you guys sent me. And that was amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough. That was awesome. So thank you guys for that. But that's how I'm funding it is every penny that I make anywhere is being put into this building, including my, um, so I have a, freelance job where I do voiceovers for medical videos like your health insurance benefits for 2023 include I do videos for corporate insurance companies so any money that I make there also going into this building after I buy groceries I buy groceries first and then the money goes here and I have been able to make a little bit of money selling the mums and selling the poinsettias and the cyclamen and the frosty ferns every little bit is helping so that's basically what I have so far, I cannot even describe to you guys <sighs> the expense when it comes to growing materials. 
I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm gonna make a separate video though. So I have my soil and I have my baskets. All the stuff that I need for spring is starting to come in and that'll be a separate video. But I know you guys have been asking me about all these renovation costs and how much things have been costing. And a lot of you guys think that I'm kind of silly for taking on this project, but, and I might be. It might be silly for me to take on the this, this, this scope of this project, but I really feel like the support of the community is behind me. And I feel like this is just the direction that I needed to go. This is my new home. I feel really good about it. I feel like this place is so special to me. I want to make it a special place for anyone else who comes to visit. And I know it will be. I get emotional <laughs> thinking about um, what's to come. I really do. And I'm very excited. Oh, the ranunculus sale that I did the other day too. That really helped. Every, every dollar really was helping. So I appreciate you guys so much that my ranunculus corms sold out. I only did a, a few thousand of them. They sold out in just a couple of days. So, th and I didn't even tell you guys on YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just did a Facebook and an Instagram sale with the ranunculus corms, but next year guys, next year, I'm going to offer a huge variety of ranunculus corms and I'll be shipping all of those myself. I know a lot of you guys are getting the ranunculus corm shipments. I put little, little details on the boxes and inside the box. And I was so excited for you guys to see those. And now people are tagging me on Instagram with their boxes and their, the wrapping paper inside and all the stickers that I put and the postcard and all the little details, guys. It was important to me that you guys felt special when you were opening it up. So next year I'll be doing a much broader sale of ranunculus corms and i'm really excited because it, you know they're hard to find these beautiful varieties and i'm excited to offer those of you guys who are not a wholesale business at want they want to be able to grow these special flowers i'm excited to be able to offer them to you guys at a pretty affordable price okay i've been rambling on for about 20 minutes now so i'm gonna stop here i know i'm forgetting something i know i'm forgetting something oh we had to put a new back, like a, a storm door on the house. That was $150. We had to put all new, um, I think we had to put a fire extinguisher in the house. I'm sure I'll think of it, but in general, 18 to $20,000. That's how much just the renovations here have, have, have cost so far. And I don't think we're anywhere close to being finished. This is a long game. It's not a short game. I'm not going to make this money back in the first season of being open for business. This is more like a five year plan. This is what I have to do to this business right now in order to sustain it over time. And I'm okay with that. This is a passion project for me. And I think in the long run, it's gonna be worth it. I can't wait for you guys to see all the plans that I have for this place. And as soon as we're open one more day, I'm open on this Saturday from 10 to three. And then a, a really special project, if you guys don't follow me on my other socials, I am delivering a plant to every single resident at my local nursing home. And the community has sponsored these. I put a, a post out for $5. You could sponsor a resident. And within a couple of hours, I had all of the residents sponsored. So I have an entire carload of plants that will be delivered tomorrow to the local nursing home. I'm very excited to do that. And that was only because of my community stepped up and sponsored the residents. And then I'm open on Saturday with a few other, you know, just the last of the plants. And then as soon as the doors close on Saturday, this room is being torn apart and I am starting renovations. And I'm pretty much starting them myself. I think that I can do a lot of it myself. My cousin is working on another job for another couple of weeks. And then when he's done, hopefully I can snag him for a day or two. So he can help me with like the cutting of the wood and stuff like that, because there's a lot, we're, we're doing some really fun things in here and I got to get all the hooks out of the walls. And yeah, so for me, it's going to be a lot of me prep me time. And then my mom's going to help me come and paint because you all know my mom's the best painter in the world, in the world. Ah, so yeah, that's the story. So this weekend, that's when interior renovations get kicked underway. And then that includes the floor and greenhouse number one. It's gonna be great. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon.